Moving right along to Libra. Libra, welcome to our weekly forecast. This is your forecast for March 11th through the 17th, 2019. For all Libra suns, moons, and risings out there that may be watching. Also, if you are a Libra on the house cusp, we're going to look at six cards today, Libra. How you see yourself today? What is a theme for you this week? What is the big picture? What is something that Libra has already learned that will be useful for them to remember? What is a challenge Libra will be facing? A lesson they are learning now and a gift they will receive. Libra, if you don't want to watch me shuffle, you can skip to the actual reading time. Timestamp below in the comments. We're using the Fountain Tarot deck today. Show me six cards for Libra, March 11th through the 17th. Give me six cards for Libra, March 11th through the 17th. All Libras that may be watching, Libra Suns, Libra Moons, Libra Risings, and Libras on the House Cusp. Okay. And one more for Libra, please. March 11th through the 17th. All right, Libra, there are your six cards. Let's take a look. Libra, how you see yourself today? We have the moon in reverse. So this is the Pisces card, Pisces Scorpio Cancer. You could have uh, your moon in a water sign or have a lot of water sign in your chart. I am seeing a Libra here who's in denial, emotionally repressed. Um, this can also indicate psychological disturbances, for example, out-of-body experiences, um, weird dreams, astral travel. There could also be a secret coming out, Libra, today or soon, very soon. Um, we just had the new moon. Uh, the day I'm recording this, we just have uh, the new moon in Pisces. So, um, you know, I'm definitely seeing here that... There's some repression going on. It could be information that you're repressing. You don't want something to come out. You don't want a secret to come out. Or you are emotionally uh, in denial, repressing emotions for someone. Um, could be. Could be. A theme you're going to be uh, faced with this week in the big picture. We have the Hierophant in reverse. So this is Taurus. Uranus just moved into Taurus from Aries. Um, some of you are getting a divorce or going through some issues with a commitment. This could even be a work situation, rules are not being followed. Um, the meaning of the hair of reverse is an unethical teacher or someone who is bucking authority. Um, so a theme for you this week could be regarding any one of those things that I just mentioned. If you're in a relationship... I'm seeing a situation where you may be repressing your emotions. Um, if you've taken vows, um, you might want to check in with yourself to see if you really still believe those things. Um, it may be time for you to, what is it that you really believe? Because I'm seeing someone here who is kind of going against authority, being a rebel for the sake of being a rebel. Possibly you could be dealing with someone like this, or you yourself are, this is sort of what I'm seeing for the theme this week. Okay, so something that you have already learned that will be useful for you to remember. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So this card talks about speaking without thinking. Um, usually I'll see this when someone is either um, thinking too much before they speak or they are just running off their mouth. For example, the robo-texter, the robo-caller, the person that um, is just incessant with the communication. So it can either, there could be too much communication or just you are being very careful, or you have been in the past very careful about what you were saying. Um, 
If you're dealing with an air sign, no, this is your energy. That's what I'm feeling. This was your energy. So they're saying, Libra, be very careful uh, about what you say and how you say it and how fast you say it. Because it could be a situation where you are needing to think before you speak. Be very careful what you say. What, and what Choose your words carefully. A challenge you will be facing this week, and we have justice. So this is your card. I'm definitely seeing some karma this week, possibly dealing with a court, court of law, a legal situation. Some of you are going through a divorce or going through some kind of proceeding. Uh, the challenge would be for you to have things be fair, for things to be balanced in your favor. Obviously, you want to be on the, the right side of the law here. Um, justice in the challenge position um, usually indicates that there has been an injustice, and this is the week where it can be corrected. So um, if you've acted morally and ethically in the past, you know, you would be successful, I think, with that. Uh, but I also feel like if there was a situation here where there's information, uh, for example, that has yet to come out or that you've been holding back on or that you uh, were pl flat out lying about. There's a possibility that that could come back this week to bite you in the butt. A lesson you are learning now, Libra, and we have the Five of Wands. Okay, so this card talks about petty hassle struggles and, and annoying obstacles. All right, there's... A lot of arguing, a lot of battling here, a lot of frustration. So how you deal with your frustration, how do you deal with conflict? Your lesson this week will be regarding conflict, uh, how you deal with your frustrations. Um, do you tend to get physical or are you someone that can talk it out peacefully? Are you someone that is passive aggressive in the face of conflict? Do you like to confront things um, head on? Probably not, because you're a Libra. So the lesson this week is around potentially an argument or conflict um, that has not been settled. Okay, Possibly with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I'm also seeing Taurus, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer and uh, air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius coming up in your reading. So a gift you will receive this week, Libra, and we have the Three of Swords reversed. So this is very good. If you've been, for example, involved in a love triangle, I'm seeing that you are getting out of that. If you have been brokenhearted or going through a separation, I'm seeing that you can start to heal your heart. I feel like, <clears throat> obviously, um, the, cards, the card is much better reversed here in this situation. Also, Libra, you may be breaking someone else's heart. You may be breaking someone else's heart. I'm seeing letting go of some pain. I'm feeling this week is the week where you can do that. Um, you can let go of some pain. Usually with the Three of Swords, we're talking about pain from the past, the present, and the future. So I'm really sensing here that you can start to let it go. You may even be ignoring some pain or choosing to push it aside, but what I'm really getting here is that you are trying to get out of the memory of something that has been really hurtful and possibly receiving some justice this week for that. So it does look positive. Um, I do wish you the best, Libra, and thanks so much for tuning in. If you would, like, share, subscribe, comment below. It really does help me out. If you would like to book a private reading, I do have openings available. My website and scheduling page are listed below in the description box below this video. Have a wonderful week, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.